How to make oatmeal natto by Natto King? Hi, my name is Sachiaki Takamiya. I am the author of the Ikigai Diet and Ikigai Biohacking. Alright, so another natto recipe video. Today, I will share with you how to make oatmeal natto. Oatmeal natto? Do those two go together? I, I didn't think so. In fact, that was the last thing I would come up with. Yeah, because I've been making different kind of natto recipes and I never thought of oatmeal natto. Right, yeah. Uh, but apparently it is very popular in Japan. In fact, it is uh, probably the most trendy or the trendiest way of eating natto today in Japan. Yeah, right. Uh, because, now, you know, uh, natto is very popular and a lot of people eat natto with rice. They usually put natto on, on, uh, on, on top of a kind of bowl of rice and eat it. But we usually eat white rice, right? Yeah. And white rice is not really, I mean, many people kind of know now that white rice isn't good because it's got too much carbs. So if you want to reduce your carb intake, uh, you want to avoid eating white rice. Yeah, but the thing is, you only need to just change white rice to brown rice. Yeah, you don't need to eat other grains. I mean, rice isn't the problem. The problem with the white rice, uh, but if you change to brown rice or fermented brown rice, then you shouldn't have any problem, right? So I usually have natto with brown rice or fermented brown rice. Yeah, but anyway, if you're eating like a regular white rice with natto, yeah, I think it is a good idea to switch to oatmeal natto because oatmeal contains something called a beta glucan. Yeah, and beta glucan is a soluble fiber which is good for your gut microbiome. And in fact, I probably talked about the research done by Dr. Shoji Kondo who was the professor at Toh Tohoku University, and he discovered many long-lived bridges and short-lived bridges in Japan. And then, uh, the people in short-lived bridges were eating a lot of white rice. But people in long-lived bridges were eating what we call mugi meshi, which is a rice with barley. So they were eating white rice, but they were mixing white rice with barley, which contained a beta glucan, right? And therefore they ended up becoming healthier, right? Um, so then now uh, the beta glucan is becoming very popular in Japan, and many people want to eat mugi meshi, you know, rice with barley, and oatmeal is in the spotlight. Okay, and then like combining oatmeal uh, with natto will be a perfect dish, right? So it's gonna be another superfood mashup, yeah? Oh yeah, if you want to know the benefit of natto, please watch my other video. It's called Five Health Benefits That Make Natto the King of Superfoods, right? Okay, so now, uh, you know how to make oatmeal, right? Yeah. So I'm not going. I'm not going to um, demonstrate. You know how to make oatmeal because you already know. But the thing is, there are two things you need to pay attention to, and that is uh, usually you make oatmeal with milk, yeah, and it doesn't go with natto. So make your oatmeal with soy milk or water. Just you know, uh, mix oats and water and sort of boil it to make oatmeal or mix uh, oats with uh, soy milk. Yeah, I, I mean, f please use organic one and also GM free soy milk. Yeah, make sure to use organic and GM free soy milk. Right. All right now, so I have two sets of oatmeal. So this one is just made with water. Yeah, with filtered water, right and kind of purified fruit out of water. Yeah, right. And this one is made with organic GM-free soy milk. Right. Um, okay, so what you do is you just put natto on top of it. Yeah. And I'm using a homemade natto, but if you don't have one, you can use a packaged natto, and you can use one 
pack for each one, right? Um, and then you want to mix natto to make it sticky. All right, and then put natto on the oatmeal. All right. And you can add a little soy sauce. Or salt if you don't have soy sauce. And then you can kind of mix it or you don't need to mix it. You know, I mean, whatever the way you like is okay. Okay, so that's it. That's done. So that's the oatmeal natto. Yeah, it's very easy, very simple. All you need to do is to make oatmeal with filtered water or organic gene-free soy milk. Yeah, and then don't put any sweeteners. Yeah, just uh, put natto and soy sauce or salt. And, and if you like, you can put, you know, like sesame seeds or hemp seeds or nuts or any other uh, things too. Right. Okay, so I'll try it. Mmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a bit like... Um, natto on white rice, yeah. Um, but this is a great way because you know you, you have oatmeal, right? And so all, all you need is just natto. If you can get hold of natto and add it to your oatmeal, then you can have uh, oatmeal natto. It's very easy for you to make. So this is a great thing because um, in order to eat natto every day, you need to have different kind of recipes, but especially the easy one that you can make using ingredient uh, that is available in your area, right? Um, I'll try the one with soy milk. Yeah, this one looks like this. Mmm, it is good. Both are good, but I think I prefer the one with soy milk. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think um, soy milk and natto uh, go together very well, and it should because they are both made of soybeans, right? Mm. But th this is not bad. I mean, this is actually good. The one with the water, yeah. And if you find it difficult to eat with chopsticks, you can use spoon too, yeah. Okay, that's it for today. So that was how to make oatmeal natto. To, to, to sum up, you just need to make oatmeal with filtered purified water or organic GM-free soy milk and add natto and soy sauce or salt and then just eat it. Very simple. Okay, so again, my name is Sachiaki Takamiya. I am the author of the Ikigai Diet and Ikigai Biohacking. If you want to know the optimal way to activate autophagy 
and feed your diverse gut microbiome, please read the Ikigai Diet. And if you want to, uh, if you want to know the method to naturally biohack yourself, please read Ikigai Biohacking. And if you like this video, please give me your thumb up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Live with you, Ikigai!